Let's now start lesson number three, organic waste management of topic number two, sustainable waste management in the agri-food sector. The main aim of this lesson is to explore the available and emerging technologies for the sustainable management of organic wastes from the agri-food sector, focusing on composting, anaerobic digestion, and biorefineries. Regarding the recycling and recovery opportunities of the organic waste, recycling includes options that yield to low added value products such as compost, bioenergy carriers such as biogas or biomethane, bioethanol, biohydrogen, bio oil or biochair, and also high economic added values products such as compounds for industrial applications, cosmetics, food preservation and packaging products or pharmaceutical, or bio-based building blocks such as bioceramics, biopolymers, etc. In this picture, the different potential pathways to valorize the food waste into added value bio-based products uh, are shown. In this picture, that is quite complicated, we can see in the left side the different food wastes that can be processed. For example, here we have fruit, we have also fish based food, and also some meat and derivative wastes. On the right hand, we have the different added value products that could be obtained from these wastes. And for example, if we follow these lines from the different fruits in the uh, left side, uh, we can obtain fatty acids. As you can see, they are connected with these lines and the connecting lines are thicker, uh, representing uh, the number of different pathways tested as documented in the scientific lit literature. So the thickness is an indicator of the number of different pathways tested as documented in the scientific literature. Now we are going to focus on one of the most known technologies for the recycling of organic waste, the composting. Composting is the aerobic with oxygen decomposition of organic materials by microorganisms under control conditions into a soil like substance called compost. So, for the aerobic biodegradation of this organic material, we need oxygen, microorganisms, nutrients, and to control the environmental conditions to finally obtain compost. The types of composting systems for industrial and on farm uh, composting uh, include windrows, in vessel composting, aerated static piles tunnel reactors and agitated bay reactors. The factors affecting composting aerobic are aeration, moisture, nutrients, temperature and pH. The aeration is important because not enough oxygen slows break down the process. The exposure to air gets rise to of trape tra uh, gases. And also it related to moisture, pill size and ventilation. The moisture, initial moisture, must be controlled between 40 and 65% in order to avoid uh, anaerobic conditions and also to uh, give uh, enough uh, water for the reaction. The, regarding the nutrients, uh, the control of uh, carbon and nutri uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and, and phosphorus as and potassium, sorry, as primary nutrients is very important. It's uh, critical to control the optimal carbon to nitrogen ratio of the raw materials that has to be between ratio 20 to 1 and 35 to 1. And the final product, the compost, must have 
a carbon to nitrogen ratio between 10 to 1 and 15 to 1. Regarding the temperature, the initial temperature should be between 20 and 45 degrees and the, the ideal temperature uh, in the process has to be maintained dur during uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, between 15, 50 sorry, and, uh, and 70 uh, degrees being the ideal, the higher temperature. The air exposure is used as a regulation also for the temperature. And a critical uh, factor is the pH that uh, should be in, uh, in uh, around 7. And uh, it should be avoid to be higher than 8. The second technology in importance is the digestion of organic waste, which is an organic technology without oxygen, so it is anaerobic. Is a process through which bacteria break down organic matter in the absence of, of oxygen, controlling the nutrients and also the environmental conditions. Uh, this technology is very interesting because it can be obtained a biogas, which is a gas with an energy uh, content, high energy content, and also a leftover material called digestate. In the anaerobic digestion, the input materials can be multiple organic materials that can be combined in one digestion, co digester, sorry, called co-digestion. It can be manure, wastewater, biosolids, food waste, energy crops, crop residues, fat, oils or greases from an industry. The main output of the anaerobic digester is the biogas, which is a gas with a high content of methane with an energy value between 20 and 25 megajoules per cubic meter, which is here compared with the gas natural energy value, which is around 35 megajoules per cubic meter, and that it's a gas, a biogas, that can be used uh, for heat, electricity, vehicle as a vehicle fuel renewable and a renewable natural gas. Uh, also the digestion, the digestate is the other output which is the residual material after the digestion process composed by of liquid and solid portions. And this digest digestate uh, can be applied for as animal feeding, uh, feeding, as a nutrient-rich fertilizer in liquid and solid form, to produce bio-based products as, a, as bioplastics, also uh, to uh, can be composed, uh, so can be used for the production of organic-rich compost and also as soil amendment. And as, as, as emerging technologies, I would like to also to show you the biorefinery concept. Biorefinery is an overall concept of a processing plant where biomass feedstocks are converted and are extracted into a spectrum of valuable products. It integrates biomass conversion processes and equipment to produce power, chemicals or fuels. Most are currently being tested in labs and their feasibility at industrial scale is still unknown in some cases. And finally, a user case example related to the utilization of food organic waste in a biogas plant in Poland. The implemented solution was an agricultural biogas plant, which includes a biotechnological accelerator in this plant that uh, allows to treat waste substrate that cannot be used in typical biogas plant technologies. Thanks to that, a wide range of different sources of biocomponents can be treated as animal, as for example, waste is such as manure, slaughterhouse waste, agricultural processing waste, also agri-food production uh, waste is coming from fruit and vegetable promise and also industrial waste stillage and we. 
In these agricultural biogas plants, the fermentation tanks are made of acid resistant steel and the biogas plant is delivered in containers and assembled on site. The main advantages of this biogas plant are the reduction of CO2 emissions, use of methane for energy production, installation of cogeneration engine, which will generate electricity and thermal energy, very high energy efficiency of biogas plants, up to 97%, reduction of other emissions from esterage and spreading of manure fields, thermal energy to heat the farm buildings, connecting 500 to 800 local residential buildings to use this heat source. And as a summary of this lesson, recycling of organic waste yields added value su products such as compost, biogas, biomethane, biohydrogen and other chemicals for several applications. Composting and anaerobic digestion are well-established technologies for organic residues from the agri-food sector. Future development of biorefineries will open new opportunities for organic material recycling and recovery. An on-farm biorefining of cellulosic residues to produce value-added products is a business model which will offer diversification opportunities for farmers. Here you can follow these references to focus more on the topic and thank you very much for your attention.